What's it, Dad? I don't know, Tim. It's the man on the motorbike again. Had a map with him. I saw him on Sunday, down by the big drain. Well, it's nothing to do with us. I better get on. Where are you off to? Up to the old airfield. Fine, that'll be a good spot for it. And well away from anyone. Is it going to rain? I hope not, Jenny. We don't want any more rain. Look how high the water level is. Dad's job is to look after the river and the land round it. He has to control the water level and the drains with the big floodgates. Jenny Barber, and Tim's my brother. We live here in the Fens. The Fens are very flat. There are lots of farms in the Fens. Things grow well here because it's very good land. Long ago, the fens were underwater. Then big drains were made. The drains got the water off the land and into the rivers. We rode into Downham. And then, up to the old airfield. There are no planes flying here now. How about here, Jenny? Hmm. What's the wind like? Just right. I got the box off my bike. Then, I took my new plane from the box. I presume this goes through there. Yes, that's right. right. Now, Toddy, mm -hmm. if you can get that elastic band over the two knobs. Oh, I see. Smashing. Yes, but is it going to fly? Well, I hope so. Mm. Hello. I'm Richard Carpenter, and you've just seen the first part of the new story I've written especially for you. You'll see what happens next at the end of this program. Now, let's see if you know who's who so far. Who's this? Yes, read her name out loud. Jenny. Jenny who? She's got a surname. Read that too. Barber. Jenny Barber. And who's this? Tim. Tim is... Jenny's brother. Brother, brother, brother. You are trying to read the words, aren't you? Now, this is the book of the film. I hope you'll be reading it. There's my name. And there is the title of my story. Read it out loud. 
cloud burst. Of course, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the title means, but I'll give you a clue. These are the big floodgates. The big floodgates where Mr. Barber works. They keep everyone who lives in the fens safe from floods. Everyone who lives in the fens is afraid of floods. There were floods when I was a boy. I never forget what it was like. Well, better get on. Who are you? Where did you spring from? I'm Mr. Watchword, the word watcher. Wordy for short. And I live in your typewriter. And I've been keeping a close eye, a word watcher's eye, <laughs> on all the words you've been using in your story. Take a look at this one. Go on, read it. Tim. Now take a closer look at this word. See that letter in the middle? In Tim, it makes the sound I. I. I know. I'm off to hunt for more words with that I sound. The sound you hear in Tim. Now, where's he got to? Oh, there it is. I lost it again. Come. Oh, I'm all confused. <laughs> ah, there it is. Let's read some words with this sound in them. Him. Big. Pig. River. Did. Did you see it, Tim? Did you see what it did? Did you see it, Tim? Did you see where it hid? Did you see it in the middle? It, it was hidden in, in the middle, middle, in the middle. Hid in Tim and did and hid. It's a little it, it's a little, little thing, it's a little thing, it makes everybody sing, it's a little thing to dig, and, and it isn't very big, no it isn't, isn't, isn't very big, no it isn't big, it's a little thing to dig, it's a little thing, and it's living with the wind, and it's living with the wind, and it's swimming in the river, and it's living, yes, it's living with the wind. It's a little eh, it's a little, little thing, it's a little eh, it makes everybody sing, and, and it, it isn't, 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 no, it isn't, 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 isn't very big. A word we've seen before. Now, here's a new word. Read it. Box. It's a big box. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> uh, words. Words for a word watcher. They all start with the same sound. Read them as I sort them out. Ah. Boy. But. Ooh, look, I can change that word into another one. Button. Book. Ooh, they're 
two of these. One. Two. Oh, of course. You can write this letter in two ways, but it sounds just the same. Burst. Burst. That's a capital letter B. You use it for the first word in a sentence or in a title, like the title of our story. Mm. Cloudburst. Big box. Something in the story was in a big box. The plane. Jenny's plane. Airfield. Jenny and Tim were going to try to fly the plane at the old airfield. Hello again, Mr. Watchworth. Oh, it's busy work, keeping an eye on all those words and sounds and things. Ah, oh, it's bedtime for me. Mm. Mr. Watchword? Wordy? Oh, I'd better not use my typewriter for a bit. Let him get some sleep, eh? Now, it's almost time for the next part of the story. But let's read a bit from my book first. Someone was telling the story. Do you remember who it was? Yes, Jenny. This is Jenny telling the story. Start reading out loud as soon as you see Jenny's first words come up on the screen. I'd made the plane myself. It had a radio control. Where's the control box? Control unit, Tim. Unit, then. Uh, it's in my pocket. But we must start the motor first. Control unit from my pocket. 
The control unit sends a radio signal to the plane. This makes the rudder turn. It did not control the plane. Why won't it work? The radio signal isn't getting to the plane. But why not? I don't know. Let me have a look. What do you have to do? To make the rudder turn, I press this button down. That makes the rudder turn left. How do you make it turn right? I press the button down, let it go, and then press it down again. It's working! <laughs> we got the motor going again. Tim let the plane go. At last it was flying. I sent the radio signal from the control unit. Tim took the control unit. But the plane went on. Turn it, Tim! Turn it! It's no good! I can't make it turn! Well, then make it come down! Oh, here, let me do it! But it was no good! The plane just went faster and faster! We ran to the bikes and went after the plane. It was flying towards the trees. They did not know that the man with the motorbike was looking at them. Meow, <laughs> meow,